fire that resulted from what is now believed to have been two missile hits. I made it to the uh, exit of the door. There was flames already there. I told everybody to go to the emergency escape hatch. But on my way from uh, seeing the fireballs and running back to the emergency escape, that's when the second explosion happened. At least 37 sailors died in the attack. Two are still missing. The men of the USS Stark stood guard in the night. They were tough, they were brave, they were great. When brave men die, it is their deeds, not our words, that are remembered. It is their sacrifice, not our brief recollection, that offers everlasting testimony to their love for others, and their love for us. And those that died did embody the best of us. Yes, they were ordinary men who did extraordinary things. Yes, they were heroes. So I'll get to what he said to me. He says, listen, has anybody ever told you a story about your dad? I said, yeah, man, we know. Freaking Iraqis killed him. Why, why, why are you bringing this up, man? Every kid that has a good relationship with their, their dad, they think their dad's like a hero. They think he's like Superman. Like, not, nothing could happen to him, right? So, Because what he told me is that the man, he is the man he is today because my father. And if it wasn't for my dad, he wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for my dad, he wouldn't be able to be the man he is to his kids. Remember that day like it was yesterday. We got a knock at the door. And that knock, ah, uh, it was a scream. It was a scream I remember. But she was like, don't open the door, don't open the door. I, I remember that. See, there are people all in the world like this, right? So I started thinking, like, man, how did I get to where I am today? And it was these 30 seconds with this guy. It changed my life. Words. What advice would I give uh, a kid in a similar situation that maybe lost his father? I would say that it's important for the people who knew that person to be a part of that kid's life as much as they possibly can. That's how that kid's going to know his father, you know, depending on you know, how old they are, or whatever. But that's, that's been essential, right? Like going to these memorials and talking to these men that served with my father, and they said, without your dad, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I'm getting chills just speaking about it, but that's, that's the thing that that kid needs to hear. I tell him that he's worth it. Man, I tell him I love him, and I give him a big old hug. That's probably what I do. Thinking about that 10-year-old boy, I'm thinking about the 10-year-old boy I was, man. You just need love, you know, you need love and you need people who are consistently in your life. Mainly it's been surrounding ourselves around Stark family members and going to the memorial every year and just checking in, seeing how people are doing. But it's, it's, been, it's, been, uh, it's, it's been our therapy. And because they were heroes, let us not forget this, that for all the lovely spring and summer days, we will never share with them again. For every Thanksgiving and Christmas that will seem empty without them, there will be other moments too. Moments when we see the light of discovery in young eyes. Eyes that see for the first time the world around them and know the sweep of history and wonder, why is there such a place as America? And how is it that such a precious gift is mine? And we can answer them. We can answer them by telling them of this day and those that we come to honor here. And it's then we'll see understanding in those young eyes. It is then they will know the same gratitude and pride that we share today. The gratitude and pride Americans feel always for those who suffer and die so that the precious gift of America might always be ours. The men of the USS Stark have protected us. They have done their duty. Now, let us do ours.